The Daily Talk Show, episode 528. What's happening, guys? What's going on? It's uh, Tuesday here in Melbourne. Uh, it's spring. It's meant to be beautiful weather outside. It's quite nice. I mean, it's a bit, little bit nippy, but it's that's free- okay. It's freezing. It's. I mean, yesterday was hot. Mm-hmm. Now it's gone. Like, I, I think it's throwing people off. I think this is why people are getting a bit sick. Mm-hmm. My wife's just got tonsillitis. How do you get tonsillitis? Are you accusing her of kissing? Is that what no, you're sort no, of insinuating? No. No. How do you actually get tonsillitis? I don't know. Though? I actually think I gave it to her. How, have you had? To- do you need tonsillitis to give tonsillitis? Well, I think Surely. you. Yeah, I mean, I, I would have to. Although I was watching that show that I was talking about last week, Outlander, yeah. and there was a guy on it that had the illness on the boat and was making everyone else sick, but he didn't have any symptoms. But you look like the I kind of kid. Bit- <laughs> you look like the kind of kid who would have gotten these tonsils out. No, really. No, Did what makes brother? you say that? What did, you look what like I, your family looks like the type of family to get rid of their tonsils. No, dude. No, dude. Don't you think? Yeah, no, there's ma- a certain No, mum's against, like mum, remember, she's old school. Hippie. Like she doesn't. Yeah, no circumcisions. She doesn't want to cut your penis. Mm-hmm. No she doesn't want to make you do anything you don't want to do. That yeah, sounds like sure. a great mother. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, antibiotics biotics and things like that. I remember mum having pushback on it. Mm-hmm. There's Do you nothing- think she would have been an anti-vaxxer in 2019? Nah, mum was never an anti-vaxxer. I don't think she went that far. Were there anti-vaxxers in the 90s? Like, what Definitely, did we call them? dude. What did we call them then? Like mum was into Steiner. Mr. 97, can you look up- Steiner schools? St- well, Steiner is a method of parenting. Like, uh, okay. So you can, there's a Steiner approach. There's mm-hmm. the school thing, but then there's also like um, no, can you look it up? Is It's either no swaddles. swaddles. So, What's a swaddle? Um, or it's keeping your baby wrapped. Like there's a bunch of, let's look up some, because I have no idea what I'm talking about, but there's a bunch of ways to parent your kid in the Steiner approach. Well, I believe there's not meant to be any sort of right angles. Really? What does that mean? Well, in Steiner schools, I believe that uh, they're all the rooms are all circular. That's cool. Well, I went um, to, so I had a troubled childhood inflicted by myself. <laughs> Nothing really troubled. It was quite privileged, yeah. to be honest, but I chose to make it troubled. I as troubled school. as Brighton could have gotten <laughs> yeah. for you. Yeah, as a ghetto sometimes. I hated school and mum did everything she could to nurture me through that those mm-hmm. years, which was very hard for her. And um, So you started in a public school, so like a cheap, El Cheapo El school? Stem- El Smeek Primary School, the school across the road was mm-hmm. a, a government public school, Mm -hmm. it's primary school. It doesn't really matter when you're a kid. Like primary schools are all primary schools. And then I went, I left in grade five for two terms and I went to a Christian school, Christian Brothers College. What did they, do you know what the fees were like? It was St. Kevin's College. Mm -hmm. So it was like it's still primary school but in the, it's, it's it's not a private school, it's a- Independent school. Like a religious- Sorry, it's a Catholic school. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're more expensive than public schools, but not as expensive as private schools. Mm-hmm. Lasted two terms there. Came back to Elstermick Primary and then went to Wesley College, private school. Then Why went did to, you leave after two two terms? You know, it's like saying I'm going to move to Sydney because I've got all these problems here and the problems follow you to Sydney. Mm. The problems will be with and also, me. And then and you I'm, also have to go to church every week. <laughs> Did yeah, you? I mean, there like was the chapel or whatever. Yeah, I was playing the flute. I remember remember doing a flute concert. <laughs> <laughs> See what you did there. Yeah, and so but anyway, mum took me once to a place mm-hmm. um, out north side that was, I think it's north side. It's a Steiner school. That would I would have enjoyed a Steiner school. I think it's more arty. You can mm. sort of free range. Mister Ninety Seven, have you got any info on Steiner? Yeah, well, so there's. It's also called um, Waldorf. Okay. It's probably um, another bloke. Yeah, uh, not sure. But there, I've got six principles. Uh, the first one is childhood is not meant to be a race. This isn't, these aren't your principles. No, so these aren't my, no, no, no. Okay, these are the Steiner. These are the Steiner or Waldorf so, principles. Say the first one, please. Childhood is not meant to be a race. Okay, great. So, I could stand by that. Yep. I hated any form of races. B I mean, test, I you, hated. I'll tell you what, it goes fast though, but he's mm-hmm. already nearly three. Okay, next one. Um, become a storyteller. Um, it's believed that storytelling was a gift and storytelling has remained as a central feature of the Waldorf education. Okay. So do we know what the difference between Waldorf and Steiner is? Waldorf sounds some form of Harry Potter thing. You haven't gone down some sort of witchcraft. No, nah, it's what came up when I Googled Steiner education. Okay. So maybe Steiner is slash. based on Waldorf. Steiner Waldorf. 
And so go on. I I was thinking Steiner was a, a person. And yeah, maybe it it's like, like you it. and I, we create school system for oh, yeah. young gronks. We could do that. <laughs> be, yeah, Waldorf it's... education is also known as Steiner okay, education. Great. So that so, was the second one? So second one mm-hmm. is storytelling. Yeah. Uh, yeah, second one is storytelling. Third one is connect with nature every day. I like that. Fourth is teach your kids to play. Cool. Fifth is establish your routines. Sixth is make room for art. This is just Matt Vella's YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's got a Steiner. I wonder how you become Steiner verified. He's just, in he's just, he's just a storyteller. So he's, he's made yeah. a few videos outdoors. I love those mm-hmm. ones on yeah. the ATV. Oh, that's right. Tell- <laughs> no, I that's mean funny. nature. It's interesting, like going out in into nature, greenery, and all that sort of thing. It's one of the things I think about. Like New York, New York's got you know Central Park, mm. which is beautiful greenery. Wonder how much time people actually spend there as a local. I've got a mate, he actually just messaged me on my Insta about Bodie on a train. He was saying, where's that? Very sp- I understand why you're stumbling. Yeah, I was, like, I was like, quite a, he, well, he lives in New York, I haven't spoken to him in a while, and he and that post, all the parents are coming out of the woodworks asking oh, really? me where, where is the it? train is. I was on these mini trains, it's three bucks to get in, the most fucking ridiculous fun. I, <laughs> like, saw, I, I saw Bodie it. screaming at the fence. Oh, you he laughed. Uh, <laughs> was he okay? Yeah, he's, he's just wanted to get in there. Yeah. He was hyped. He was just wanting was to get on the mini in the train. Because I noticed like everyone's lined up and he was on the fence screaming. There's 60 people in the line. <laughs> Were you guys lining up at that point? I was lining okay. up and Amy was tending to young son. Yeah, and so that's fine. When you're lining up, you can hold the spot for him. And so my mate who messaged me and said, where is that? He lives in New York City and he mm-hmm. runs shitloads and he runs through Central Park. So maybe it's like... It's an exercise spot. Does he visit Melbourne much? Like, is he going to actually be able to use utilize the trains? Well, I said to him, next time you're here, it's in Eltham. Okay. So you go, go check it out. Uh, well, yeah, what's what's the vibe? So it costs you three bucks per Dude, head or just one, per family? Uh, per head, $3 a ticket and it's every, every Sunday and it's uh, only on from 11 till 4.30 depending on um, weather and also how many volunteers they have. It's a fully volunteer-based operation. Where's the operation. money going? Probably back into the trains. Oh, yeah. That so makes it's sense. literally just a, a beautiful piece of land mm-hmm. at near Ryan John's place, actually. Okay. If you had to pick one hobby for Bodhi to, to take up, what do you think you'd pick? Oh, I mean, if, probably a martial art. Okay. I think it's got the, it's got the discipline. Mm-hmm. You got to, like, it's meditative. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it makes you respect. Uh, shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Actually, How like, old do you have to be before you can start doing that? I can get him to Brazi- uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu next year. Mm-hmm. So maybe four. Karate, like I did karate as a yeah. kid. Mum would take me to those things. Anything that gets you outdoors, like, or gets you active is nice. Like, was it something? Did you gravitate to anything, any of those I active played sports? Heaps of sports? So there was, I reckon, there was a time where I was doing footy, basketball, T ball. Mm all like at the same time and basketball. The thing with basketball that I hated was the amount of training. They do two, two nights a week training. <laughs> and I just wanted I to mean, be in a team that just, just played. Played on the weekend. It's called the seniors in football yeah. when you're 28 mm. and just can't train because yeah. you work too much I and get you want to tra- fucking go. <laughs> You'll pull a hammy though. But I do appreciate the idea of um, training. I would love to have a basketball court nearby here. You there can is. pay like two bucks entry. There's a basketball indoor. court right near here. Indoor? No, not indoor. Mm, no, I want it indoor. <laughs> oh, God. So just many, like a nice. So many hurdles. But no, just. In front of you and. <laughs> no, no, no. no I'm version. not talking about athletics. I'm talking. Just play. We could start a basketball. Like, I, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Um, our next door neighbor, Michelle Timms, gave Bodie a uh, basketball. Oh, lovely. So he's got his own mini basketball. Oh, that's cute. So some kind of sport. I think. Um, I thought of it from the future approach, like not the mm-hmm. he'll have to do all those sports at school, basketball, football, yeah. all that shit. You end up having to. But if there's something you could stick to across your life, yeah. martial art is good. What do you think about that approach of School. schooling for, for young kids? I think it's great. It yeah. seems more modern now. Mm-hmm. Like that seems like everyone should would be on, to, like yeah. I want that for my kid. Well, I had a, um, a German teacher. I've told this story before, but she was an older lady and she'd come from a Steiner school and then went to our uh, public school, which was a bit rough. 
mm. and she just couldn't hack it. And because we were naughty and she'd always be talking about, oh, in the Steiner school, we did this. And we'd always be like, go back to the Steiner school then. Oh, yeah. And she was the one that we, um, I got an electric shock pen from What's New. And then someone asked to go to the bathroom and they uh, gave her the pen to sign yeah. a note so he could go to the and bathroom. It, and it shocked her. It shocked her. <laughs> and the, the um, year coordinator, I remember he came into our uh, classroom and he was fu- like, he was like, this is so serious. He said, she could have died. Yeah. I tell you, teachers, you need to cut out that bullshit. I was once told in a s- assembly room full of kids, mm. we are doing DNA tests on the piss in the toilet. Oh, really? Whoever's done that, we're going to know who you were. Wow. I mean, that's an outright yeah. lie. <laughs> I mean, just flat out, like, the woman wouldn't have died yeah. from a little yeah, electric you thing. Um, Mr. 97, there's a few people writing through on the, on the live stream. Yeah, what, yeah. What I've, got? I've just switched over to data, by the way, because it was lagging a little bit. Oh, okay. uh, Gem's off to put her head under a laser for a bit, so she says bye. What is she, do- Good what luck. Is she doing with the laser? I've actually been on the laser, laser thing. removal. I'm thinking dermato- about dermato- doing laser hair removal on my neck. Mm. And so I could actually have a- <laughs> All right, Geordie Shaw. <laughs> fucking hell. No, no, no. But I just mean oh, like- Oh, yeah. So, you know, like around- So I- Because what you've worked out is it, um, the shaving of the neck is getting in the way of ordering Uber Eats time. <laughs> no, Swiping no, no. on Instagram. <laughs> no, it was because I- um, I mean, Brie gets upset every time I say I'm going to shave. <laughs> she gets upset because it means- Dude, mess you need to look, look online. There's this thing you clip around your neck. Do you neck. have one? No, I don't because I'm like not a, a bronc. It's a bib. So what do you it's do? Like a bib. It's like a bib. So what do you do then? It, dr- wash it down the thing. Uh, Brie doesn't like it being under the drain. You shouldn't go in the drain. Do, do so I know? use like paper towel? I'm very That's good. Speci- I do that a bunch I'm very of times. specific with it, but Brie has like a next level uh, expectation. Why don't you just do it on the balcony? Uh, you get a I, mirror out there. Yeah. So I've, I've done that previously. Mm. It can be a bit problematic. I did in the shower. In terms of what, like missing stuff or what? Yeah. Yeah, just mm. it's a little bit complicated. But so I was thinking just I always feel better about myself if I just shave my neck, like if I've got my hair sort of removed. And I um with uh, Pete Shepard, Tall Gronk's uh, 30th birthday the other week where um, Mr. 97 and I dressed up as him uh, for his birthday. Mm. Everyone was doing it. And uh, I did a clean shave. Yeah, I did say that. And I haven't done a clean shave in yeah. maybe five years. Yeah, I was surprised. <laughs> and so the annoyance, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to uh, lean into it and see if there's ingrowns, there's ingrowns or whatever. Good tip, by the way, I didn't have shaving cream. Guess what I used? Uh, what? Uh, soap. No. What you just what used? Would you, soap or water? And, uh, what would I use? Coconut oil. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I used face the face oil from um, Zoe Foster Blake, go-to. the go-to oh, yeah. stuff, yeah. and it just softened it all up. However, it didn't stop the ingrowns, and so I had a, have a real one right near me, Adam's apple. All right, mate. Anyway. Oh. And uh, what? It's disgusting. It's actually not disgusting. Everyone gets ingrowns. Were ingrained. you using a, a, a razor or were you yeah. using your shaver? No, a razor. Okay. And so um, I'm just thinking it would be great to get Yeah, you've got to speak to talk- Justin Hill. Justin Hill from uh, we'll do la- the Today do all FM the laser Network. stuff, yeah. I've seen him talk about getting okay. his beard done, but it's something like, it's so like Geordie Shaw. But no, I'm not wanting specific, I'm not wanting it to be super like, I don't need to look like a Lego man in like you regards to it. My brother's had back laser mm. and it just takes out the thickness of it. Sure. So get it done. I get that. But uh, I mean, there's a lot of admin in getting it going. There's, there's like six. Oh, yeah, you've got to do multiple, yeah, 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 yeah. multiple times. Well, I've got to pick my – so 2019, uh, 2020, trying to – got to work out if I'm doing one bit of admin, psychologist or laser hair. Psychologist, psychologist yeah. Yeah. Psychologist. The neck hair is going to save me a lot of time, though. We'll, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> who, was, who else was commenting? No, seven. Um, Gem's just – it was a facial that she was okay. getting. So. Okay, yeah. laser facial. Um, Matt says, a mate of mine from high school had a full indoor-sized wooden court built in his oh. backyard. It was fucking insane. Jeez. Yeah, that is amazing. We is nearly, even? <laughs> well, tonight. when I was a kid, because we were on a, a fair size block, like a quarter acre or whatever, and um, the big hype was we were going to get a beach volleyball court in our backyard. That's good. Low Never maintenance, did. sand, <laughs> and a lot of- Wind and stuff, I guess. If, it, mm. if you had a windstorm, it would be a cats, nightmare. A lot of cats just coming in, pooping. Ah, in the, you I know? never thought of that. But they did in sand pits. So we had a sand pit dad built ah, for me. Of course. Pooing. Local fucking- Could you, you, never see, you never see a house with a beach volleyball court. 
Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, the guy from Instagram, Pre- Peter Tran, Peter. Peter you know, Try, yeah. Peter Try. Eight Food. Eight Food. He's got yeah. a basketball court yeah. in his backyard. Yeah. Looks I mean, quite nice. I mean, how much are you using it? These things. <laughs> yeah, that's the question, isn't it? 97, how are you going with the sauna, buying a sauna? <laughs> it's a bit of a nightmare. Why? <clears throat> well, so you have to get it wired in to your to the main power supply. It's just like a spa. You just pay an electrician, probably six, seven hundred bucks. Tommy's bro could probably do it. If it was on the books, because you've got to plug it into the switch. Yeah, it's not like just a normal spa, PowerPoint. Our yeah. spa, it's like a certain voltage, sends it out. It's all the way. Some gronk did it all yeah. the way around. Yeah. And, um, from next doors. Yeah. And so <laughs> from, from next doors, doors. just tapping into next yeah, doors. So, yeah. So that's that's an option. Uh, so that dad, sounds reasonable. Dad's, well, so dad's not too keen because it's like it'll power cost use. like a. <laughs> no, <but nah>, power <laughs> yeah, usage isn't a problem. It was more just the install cost if it's like another 700 bucks. And so, what's so the actual cost outside of install? The sauna. Yeah. What's what does that cost? It, come, it would come to like two and a half grand, including install. And it's, yeah. Is it infrared or? No, no, no. That's that's traditional sauna. And so, I was oh. looking into infrared saunas, and you've got different types. You've got like near near light infrared saunas mm. or near infrared saunas, and you've got far infrared saunas. You need to speak to Conspiracy Jimmy. He's probably yeah. less well, of the, a tire the, kick. He's probably gone closer to actually getting it done. Reckon? I mean, he's got cash mm. to spend on. Yeah. He loves that Unlike shit. Unlike this problem. I mean, he's well, just a young tie tie kicking. Yeah. Yeah. How many times did you call people from the trading post as a kid? Never, actually. <laughs> you didn't? I never, no. Nah. Oh. Actually, I mean, this is some of the weirdness. So I obviously, uh, I'm trying to get used to eating um, leftovers. But the other thing was, I <laughs> never. How's connected to the trading post? Secondhand, never bought anything secondhand. Ah, uh, okay. You're more the Just credit, don't credit card guy. Go full, full yeah. Get the get the, the the proper one, <laughs> and then never sell it. Look, I, yeah. The second I mean, hand market, it feels two like and a half grand mm. a gym membership. F- um, that's four years of a five hundred buck gym membership. I mean, what, what gym, gym memberships are five hundred bucks? Yeah. So. What gym Thank memberships? You. Yeah. Anytime fitness is eight hundred. Fitness first is probably about, a, they? probably about a grand. How much I'm paying? Yeah, 25, you're pro- 20 bucks probably a paying a grand. You don't 20 pay bucks a 20 fortnight. bucks a fortnight, really? Oh, that's because of your old mm. like membership. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's more. Fuck, I don't know. I did it so long ago. Mm-hmm. Can't remember. Oh, how about your phone? You know, the <laughs> one that you thought that you owned? I never thought I owned it. I just, oh, really? So you actually knew that you were leasing the nah, whole time? Nah, I never. See, I was always j- sceptical of what I did because I can't remember. <laughs> so I must have switched it over to a lease plan. When I got – see, this is the thing they get you when it's like new phone comes out, you can upgrade now, and mm-hmm. then I've flicked over to some lease plan on my mobile phone, which means I have to give it back in February, which is fine, but it means I don't have a phone, so I can't just leg it to some cheap cheapo. How much do you um, – how much do you save by leasing? I don't know. This is why I'm like it fucking has to be a good deal. Like, Or maybe not. I'm not a dumbass that <laughs> thinks that – like it would have to be forty dollars that I'd be saving to even enter into a lease thing. A forty bucks uh, a month. A month across On a twelve month or twenty four month. Twenty four month plan. Like I would have to. This so that's eight hundred bucks. It you is absolute criminal in Australia. The the leasing thing is criminal. Like, what? How are they? Because there's a f- few things. If you break your phone, you have to pay some. Like mm-hmm. at the end of it, you have to hand it back in in a working condition. I have a feeling. Uh, that the US is like all about that leasing because when the iPhone, the first gen first came out of the iPhone, you know, 12 years ago or whatever, yeah. you could only get it on AT&T, so one telco mm. provider, and it was one ninety nine. Mm. That's all it cost. And so you, yeah. it wasn't like a normal buying sort of arrangement. To be honest, I would have no problem leasing if I was able to – shift down in cost mm-hmm. of my plan. So yeah. I pay a premium monthly fee for my phone, which means now there's like half the cost plans that give you double the data and double everything, but they're half the cost and that's a downgrade. So you have to pay an exit fee out of your contract to get onto that. Mm-hmm. So I've got to let the 24 months run out, which is in February, which then I can jump to another cheaper yeah. option that probably has a leasing thing. And then I wouldn't care if it's like. Well, they've gotten way better, I think, with pricing in Australia. Like there's, Well, because uh, they've ripped off so many people. Well, I think it's also maybe a supply-demand thing. I'm guessing there's like way more network mm. sort yeah, of available. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Do you think it should be businesses' uh, responsibility to, which it makes sense. From a business perspective, I, I think mm-hmm. it's not, but- 
from a fucking human level, people who are on old, old plans mm-hmm. that are 200 bucks, 180 bucks, and now there's literally 60, 60%, 50% less yeah. plans know, that like, are yeah, available. So I mean, they it, could downgrade them. I feel like I've definitely had Telstra call me before and saying, hey, you, you can get a way better deal now. Really? But it's based on you not being in contract anymore. So if you're out of contract paying yeah, yeah. a bunch, they're like, would actually prefer you to be in contract paying less knowing that that's guaranteed cash. Mm. So I guess that's that's part of it too. Oh, it's all a bit disappointing. Mm. Um, what do you reckon? Um, so 2020, I've been thinking about news resolutions. I had the goal. I told you, it's this time. Yeah. People start just disregarding the next month and a bit. Mm, definitely. <laughs> and so dialing in all that sort of stuff. I posted a photo maybe six months ago of my news resolutions. They were very uh, popular. People loved it. They got behind it, which is what I needed. Uh, what, did you, what, what, what was beneficial remember. about it? Yeah, uh, what was beneficial? Oh, just the amount of engagement. Uh, <laughs> that, like, there was a lot of likes, yeah. a lot of comments. But, the, yeah, there was things like I wanted to basically save 50% of um, our household income or whatever, yeah. which we didn't end up end up doing. But after watching this documentary on fire, that whole um, financial, financial independence, retire early, the idea of frozen burritos and stuff. Oh, okay. I've been thinking about those a bit. Have you looked them up? No, I haven't yet. I'll send you a so, video yeah, send of me a link. it. Yeah. yeah, but what are some of the things? Because I've been trying to cut down my approach to life has always, because I've worked for myself, it's always just like make more money so you can just do the things that you want to do. But when you're in a business and you pay yourself a salary – it's like it doesn't matter how much more mm. money you're making, you uh, you've got your salary, and so. Yeah. But then- I think I think then you you grapple with, so like um, budgeting mm. or pulling back on spending yeah. is like a mindset shift from someone coming from the yeah. earn more money. Like you mm. just described your mindset, yeah, yeah, yeah. where the opposite is yeah, do what you want, pull your then- strings in, mm. pull your fucking laces tight yeah, because yeah. we're going to shut out on a bunch of stuff. Mm. That makes Which, you, that is your life. What do you reckon, 97, mm. the different approaches, that idea of just like having your lifestyle as cheap as possible yeah, versus making money to mm. fulfill a certain lifestyle, where do you sort of sit? Well, I, I used to be really, really, I guess, like frugal enough to, I still yeah. am frugal And then you pre-ordered to- a side <laughs> truck for the show. <laughs> yeah. Solid work, kid. No, but- I, over over the past probably like six months, I've mm-hmm. really loosened up in terms of what I'm willing to spend my money on, and it's mm-hmm. just more more willing to like go out and have fun or, or buy mm-hmm. things that experiences. Yeah, yeah, but it's also I mean like I, I probably would have been too tight to buy an iPhone mm-hmm. previously, but it's like why not now? <laughs> well, t- Tim Ferriss does his classic question: What's one thing? under a hundred dollars that's given you the most value in the past 12 months. Mm. What, would, what would that be for you? Under a hundred bucks. Though. Under a hundred. It's a hard one. Under a hundred is an annoying number. I was thinking about number. this the other day. Uh, I bought an AirPods eight dollar, eight dollar. Yeah. My wife has tried to throw it out. An eight dollar um, laptop pillow with a plastic thing. So oh, it's like horrendous. On, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's shitty. Like you'd look at it and go, yeah. yuck. Mm. One size. As seen of, on TV. As seen on TV. But it just goes on. I like it on. I think you wouldn't mind it based like your nuts I don't getting think I hot. Could do- you know when you have got yeah, a laptop yeah. on and it just gets a bit too hot. It's only nice in bed. It feels it. like letting go, don't you think? Mm. Oh, this this would be my. Uh, do you want to answer that just in case it's Chris? Uh-huh. Is it two um, o'clock. No, it's it's uh, it's ten two. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll do another. Uh, yeah. Do another so so then, how do you reconcile? I, I see. Here's the thing. I don't think our generation has been through a severe financial crisis. Mm-hmm. Our parents, 2008, my parents sold their house the weekend before the last financial crisis. Mm-hmm. I think if they waited a week, it probably would have been a different price yeah. they got. We haven't felt the f- that financial friction before in our lives. Yeah. Like really having to go fucking the economy shot, mm. no money to be made, no one's spending cash and our business goes under. Well, I think it's better... I think you're in a better position if you can prepare for a shitstorm than waiting yeah. to get into the shitstorm. I tell you what, it's better living in a, in that mindset. But then the mindset of uh, I'm going to choose mm-hmm. the 
positive outlook of if we need more money, we'll make more money Yeah. versus fucking turning into an absolute tight ass mm. where you're just – you're restricting your enjoyment of life based on not having to spend. And so I think there's a time for both. Yeah. So 97, have you worked out what your favourite – that old Tim Ferriss under a hundred bucks. It's pr- probably a smoothie container. The smoothie containers that I bring into work. Are, are they not just mm. your um? What, what's that called? The Nutribullet ones. Yeah. yeah. Is it just a Nutribullet yeah, accessory? Yeah, but, so the the little like knobs on the side or whatever they always crack off, and so I I just get real pissed off in the morning. So, so is this like, a third party? Is this like a premium third party product, or is this still? No, nah, it's just on eBay, like a third party cheap mm. one. But like. You, 20 bucks or whatever and I just have to keep buying them because you keep buy breaking. a lot of shit on eBay what like yeah. what sort of because you get all the accessories you've got the silicon like the airpod silicon oh, holder that's a pretty good yeah. that was like what, an eight dollar purchase what are you are you protecting it what's well, the protection, point of it it's not getting scratched it's I mean have you seen the back of your one uh, yeah, well, I mean, it was yeah mine's scratched no, mine's, mine's scratched yeah, mine's fine. Fine. who gives a shit it's I a actually, case that's what it's meant for yeah, but I can put a case on a case yeah. and then the case doesn't get scratched. A gronk move for me for many months was the way that I knew which ones were my AirPods was the one with all the gunk <laughs> in them. Yeah. But anyway, looking at them, look what I did on the weekend. That's nice. I, I cleaned them. No, Seven, can you log into your eBay and yeah, see yeah, all I'm the last? Do, I just um, got sent so a what's text the, message. So what's the hundred, hundred, under hundred $100 for me. purchase that's giving you the most oh, There's joy. a bunch of things that I haven't bought yet that I reckon you're no, no, going no. to. <laughs> Can no. I tell you those though? No, no, no. I you, want to know them. The, the, the Thank thi- you. Yeah, but the thing is, this is why it's a good qu- good question based on it being super hard. Mm. The only reason I have an answer is literally over the weekend I found in the garage. I was like, that would be my answer to the hundred dollar thing. Mm. What have you bought uh, recently? Something maybe about like the moleskin note pads, but that's really lame. The one, the thing that I, I've been watching <laughs> you, all the um, you gave my a fucking beating. I'd love a torch. Like a really solid torch. <laughs> I think it goes beyond. It's so not what Tim Ferriss was asking. He's asking what has mm. been the best purchase. But that's why I think I'm like great. What's given a, you something? Like mm. what's given you change your life, given you joy, or or at least just changed up mm. something for you at home? Mm. It, uh, yeah, an everyday carry item. Uh, what about your wallet? You, nah. What, what do you mean? It's nice and like thin and sleek now. Yeah, it's good. Uh let me think about it. They're all things I haven't bought yet. Can I tell you the things I think are going to be good? But why don't you have them yet? Well, you because I'm, I'm saving out. for Christmas. Okay. Well, because I want okay, something yeah, at yeah. Christmas time that's like nice and affordable. I don't want to be get too silly. Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, so there's these um, like uh, silicon style bags that you can put your food in. They're like... Um, Meal prep? Yeah, that type Fuck. of thing. I've been that's watching it. these um, these pack hack videos where people like they have like little thing like cases and stuff so mm. you can hold like cables i reckon a really oh, yeah, long like this. a really long usb cable would be great for my iphone that's not oh, shit because yeah. you know how you were saying yeah, yeah, my yeah. iphone cable is Dude, like you need a titanium one you yeah that's what i mean i want like a real high teflon. quality one <laughs> teflon <laughs> i can coat or trev yeah, yeah. Trev Long always gets like the Belkin ones. So oh, yeah. it'd be good to get yeah. some form of brand endorsement yeah. with Belkin. Yeah, I think it's a hard question. Think about it. Uh, let us know if you've got something that you yeah, actually- Yeah, under 100 bucks. Mm. Yeah. Do you want to know my eBay purchases? Yeah, 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 your yeah, eBay yeah. Okay. purchases. This is for this year. Fanola No Yellow Shampoo. Okay, so that's, that's for your that's hair. That's the toner for my hair. How does that work out? It's actually done a pretty good job. Okay. Um, Oral-B Toothbrush Head Replacements. Are right. they legit or are they third no, 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 party? Third party. Cheap? Eleven dollars for I think we've got twenty of them. Isn't it's it cheap. a bit that's cheap? How do you know if these third party ones are gonna be okay? Because it says oral B compatible. Yeah. Okay. So you yeah, just brackets you know, made just from hope. asbestos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it does have that vibe. You just don't know. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where the fuck are these come from? A shockproof <laughs> Apple AirPods case, silicon. How much was that? Five dollars and twenty five cents. Sure. Cheap, man. See, yeah. yeah. It seems like there's some sort of global warming thing attached to all this eBay <laughs> stuff. Like this can't be good for the environment. No, no, Go no, on. Uh, Keep going. This. 12 pairs of bamboo invisible socks, $12. Didn't you have to chuck them out because they st- made your feet stink or no? No, no, no. My feet just smell. It was my, shoes, my shoes do that. Yeah. Are they good socks? 
Oh, they do the trick. I've had you them. can't tell you if they're can bamboo you start or not. Doing no, mis- I can't do that. Yeah. Mis- can you do a blog post on our website, Mr. 97's tight ass recommendations <laughs> yeah, or absolutely. something yeah. around the. Because like, I would, if, if I. If you said, oh, I'll get you some socks, mm-hmm. I need fucking ankle socks or whatever they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, Can they're pretty, I, I mean, they're pretty good. I just can't be bothered buying them. Yeah. Is there an affiliate link I could just click and Mr. 97 purchases this yeah. stuff? Yeah, what about the eBay? Last, there's, the there's, other a, there's a Lycra um, adhesive for the back of my phone to hold like cards. Like a wallet thing, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, You're about 65. A phone case, a tempered glass camera screen protector. Um, oh, this is great. It's a it's a suction mount for a GoPro, but for Windows. And so it's got three suctions. You don't even have a GoPro. No, it's for Jace. Okay, you mate. That was his birthday. So you're buying. Okay, yeah, sure. The other one, which is my brother's Christmas present, was a um water filter. For, oh, yeah. uh, like so you can like it's like it's sort of like a straw thing, and you can suck through it, and oh, it'll yeah. filter the water as it goes. I think up. I've seen these. Mm. Are they like it? Almost seems like a push pop, yeah. like drink. <laughs> That look like that. It's like a, a bullshit, pump. Bullshit.com. It looks yeah. like a pump. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, interesting. But appara- apparently it's legit. So. Uh, yeah, can, can you, yeah, I I definitely like, respect the guy who actually makes the purchase. So, you, like, I, I never went out of my way to get that fucking pillow thing. I don't think mm. it's that impressive. Those are impressive. He's actually mm. done some research. Mm. Can I say I like the, the best purchase under $10 I've ever made is a no junk mail sign. So he's, made, he's got his purchase. He's, he's got his answer. A sticker. So it's, it's a little, it's an adhesive, and you stick it on your mailbox. Yeah, and I'm not getting junk mail anymore. That's oh, great. Junk mail's fine. That's so annoying. Yeah, I get so it. annoying. Uh, before we go, mm. uh, Black Friday deals. Our mates at Quadlock have a deal. Yeah. I was going to like because I've been going to buy shit all week, and Bree's like, wait for Black Friday. Uh, okay. And they're all starting now. Like they're all like it becomes like the Black Week. They start Does doing it? it early, early, early. But the um, actually, here's, here's my favourite purchase under uh, $200. <laughs> actually, <laughs> the rule, it's no, 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 no. Actually, under $100 US. Okay, okay. It's um, I'll take, I'll, the I'll, I'll um, wool that. and prints oh. uh, T-shirts, merino T-shirts, the blends. Mm. I've worn them all year. I've only got three. That's the only T-shirts I've worn and they're all good. That's solid. And I probably, um, I, you only have to wash them like, once every month. And, Arguably. Uh, <laughs> and the great thing at the moment is if you buy them now, if you spend over, um, I think it's $130, and you, uh, you add three pairs of socks to the cart, you get the three pairs. Do you have, do you have three it's pairs of socks? Good. Have you I bought socks from any them previously? Of their socks. I Re- worry would you that, want them? Yes, why? Are you planning a Christmas no, no, present? No, no. Uh, it's a good idea, but. All right, mate. No, well, I just don't, oh, are I you don't, planning on well, buying me? I was going to get you the twelve pairs of bamboo socks for I'd, twelve bucks. Well, this like is that. what <laughs> this yeah, is the worry. Tight. Get me the good ones. <laughs> yeah. I bought a book for a mate, and I was meant to see him, but then um, it didn't happen. I then texted him a photo of the book and said, "Hey, man, I got you this book. Don't buy it." Do you it's, think that's, that's still fine. okay? Yeah, that's fine. I bought you. Yeah, yeah, because you don't want him to buy it. Anyway, um, the the quad lock thirty percent off if you use the code QLBF nineteen QL quad lock. Black Friday, nineteen. Love oh it. yeah, great. And that's, right. that's for. Uh, do they have their new car mount yet, or no? You don't know the answer to that. But they've no. got a bunch of mounts, so you can mount them onto your f- uh, bike. That's the big one. the The bike mount mm. pro is what I like. If I use my bike regularly, that's. I still <laughs> use, I use the case. That purchase doesn't include. It was yeah. much more than hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, we should actually. We should do another segment on shit that we buy. We should. Maybe every week in December. No, sell that could something. be your blog post. The bullshit you've bought that never <laughs> used. Outline. See if anyone wants to buy it. I had the domain like name that. justifymypurchase.com and it was going to be sort of like this you submit and it goes to like a home page and then people comment on the thing. And just tell I mean, you why it's yeah. right. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. Mr. 97, you're, you're doing the Mr. 97's tight ass purchases. Right. Yep. And, okay. and Josh is doing Josh bullshit is, we've bought. Bullshit, bullshit I've bought. Bullshit, bullshit okay. I've bought. Okay, yeah. great. A lot of juggling balls. I did a huge <laughs> buy up. Are that, are they same same the ones in the, the office. No, nah, I got these other ones that would glow in the dark. Really? Uh, no, they would actually light up. When but, you threw them in the air, yeah. it had like indicators right. in them. But they, all, they mark. So How much if they, 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 It was uh, not cheap. Mr. 97, anything coming through on the Instagram before we go? Uh, Art Kid Jewelry says spot on, not good for the environment Thank you. in relation to my purchases. Mm-hmm. Um, I pointed that out. 
Samantha says, surely we need a 3D deal update soon. I can imagine he'd be keen to get in on the New Year's resolutions Oh, that's chat. a great idea. Right. Yeah. Right. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. No, that's good. All right. right. Hi, the Daily Talk Show. com is the email address. If you want to send us an email, please uh, let us know the shit that we should buy. There are these cable ties that I want to get as well that are mm. very strong mm. and they just hold all your shit together. Do you remember when I – you can get them from um, – What's wrong with a normal cable tie? Yeah, and you keep adding what does things that on. Mean? What is that? What is a normal cable tie? Well, they're both they're both equally as strong. What is a normal cable tie? Just though? one of those plastic ones from Bunnings. You can get like a hundred of them for a dollar. Oh, you mean that's like a? a um, but that's more uh, requires cutting and stuff. Yeah, that's a cable tie. No, but though. I'm talking about ones that you sort of you loop and you twist, and it's a wire, and so you reuse them. And so you could clip. do an XLR cable. No, it's stronger yeah. than that. <laughs> anyway, it's a daily talk show. See you tomorrow, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.